Let me guess. National Geology Crisis? <laughs> In the movie 2012, Dr. Adrian Helmsley, an American geologist and head advisor to the White House, visits an astrophysicist friend in India and learns that neutrinos from a massive solar flare, which was caused by the alignment of the planets, are causing the temperature of the Earth's core to dramatically increase at a very fast rate. He informs White House Chief of Staff Carl Anheuser and the President of the United States that this will trigger a catastrophic chain of natural disasters. The President, along with other national leaders, begins a secret project intended to ensure humanity's survival. In this top secret project, approximately 400,000 people are chosen to board the giant ships called Arts that are constructed at Cho Ming, Tibet, in the Himalayas. Meanwhile, the rest of the population dies in a chain of natural disasters that ultimately floods the entire Earth, with the exception of the African continent. How deep do we need to go? 11,000 feet. I searched all over India for this thing. It used to be the deepest copper mine in the world. Remember my brother Gadeep? He's a student now. Namaste, Dr. Helmsley, sir. Adrian. It's just Adrian. Would you all barf chaye? Ice machine the tootge? Just don't pour too much, huh? How do you work in this heat? Come on a good day, my friend. Sometimes it can hit 120 degrees. You have to come and meet Dr. Lokesh, fellow of quantum physics at the university in Chennai. Namaste. Dr. Helmsley. So, what are we looking at? These neutrinos acting normally. Minuscule mass, uh, no electrical charge. They pass through ordinary matter almost undisturbed. Your message said the count doubled after the last solar eruptions. That was last week. But this happened two days ago. The biggest sun eruptions in human history, causing the highest neutrino count we've ever recorded. My God. That's not what worries me, Adrian. For the first time ever, the neutrinos are causing a physical reaction. That's impossible. Ah, that feels very good. Please, follow me. You won't believe this. Bye, Kogo. This water tank goes down another 6,000 feet. It looks like the neutrinos coming from the sun have mutated into a new kind of nuclear particle. They're heating up the Earth's core and suddenly act like microwaves. Why don't you download my blog? It's free. Of course, we do appreciate donations. In ancient times, the Mayan people were the first civilization to discover that this planet had an expiration date. According to their calendar, in the year 2012, a cataclysmic event will unfold caused by an alignment of the planets in our solar system that only happens every 640,000 years. Oh, not again. Pretty neat, huh? I did all the animation myself. Just imagine the Earth as an orange. Oh. You lure them in with humor, then you make them think. Our sun will begin to emit such extreme amounts of radiation. Those little bastards are called neutrinos. That the core of the Earth will melt. That's the inside part of the orange, leaving the crust of our planet free to shift. In 1958, Professor Charles Hapgood named it Earth crust displacement. Albert 
Einstein did support it. That. People will get it all. The forces of Mother Nature will be so devastating, it will bring an end to this world on winter solstice 12 21 12. Always remember, folks, you heard it first from Charlie Brock. We'll take the freeway, but we have to tie! <laughs> 